Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through today may resonate with everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. Things were going so great, but then I screwed up. And perhaps things were going really great between the two of you. You were talking about future plans. You were talking about where this relationship was going. You were spending a lot of time together, having wonderful experiences and adventures with each other. And then your person, fear came in and tapped him on the shoulder and caused them to screw up this connection, make a big mess, make a lot of mistakes, do the wrong things, say the wrong things. But your person realizes that it was them that screwed this connection up between you. And perhaps they did it consciously or subconsciously because their fears were getting the best of them. Perhaps it was self-sabotaging behavior. But your person is acknowledging that they created a lot of the problems in this connection with the two of you. I'm heartbroken and lonely. Your person misses you and they are dealing with their own level of heartache and heartbreak. They know that they broke your heart. They're taking accountability for that. They're also dealing with their own level of guilt, remorse, regret, ashamed of their behaviors, how they treated you, the words they said to you that were so hurtful, the look on your face when they said those things that were mean. And they knew that they hurt you in that moment. But your person is lonely as well, and their loneliness for you is screaming at them in their head that it's time to start doing something, to start reaching out to you, to start rebuilding this connection with you. The universe pulls me to you. Yes, the universe is pulling the two of you together because your souls belong together. Your souls are pulling on each other. The universe as well is giving your person signs and synchronicities that are reminding them of you, seeing things that remind them of you wherever they go, whatever they do. But there is this pull between you and your person and you feel it as well. It's how these connections work. Because your souls are in constant communication in 5D, even if you are not talking to each other while we are in the 3D world, there's still communication going on because the souls need to communicate with each other. You belong together. The universe is pulling you towards each other. Let's see what else the Connect Collective wants to reveal for this reading today. What else do we need to know? Can you feel me yearning for you? Yes, yeah, see, your person is heartbroken and lonely. They long for you. The universe is pulling the two of you together. Your person is getting signs and synchronicities that remind them of you. And then they start thinking about you, obsessing about you, wondering what you're doing, wondering how you are, wondering if you have moved on. Is there someone else in your life? Do they still have a chance? But through this longing and yearning that your person is experiencing just now, it is going to cause them to reach out and communicate with you so the two of you can start rebuilding this relationship and get it moving to the place of union. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal for this reading today. What else do we need to know? The King of Cups, yes, the King of Cups is a great card. It is such a powerful card for a reading. The King of Cups belongs to the water signs, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, that may be a validation for you that there is a message in this reading that's important for you. It certainly does not have to be this way for this reading to work for you or to resonate with you. But with this King of Cups being here, it tells us your person is going to take on the energy more so of the King of Cups. The King of Cups is someone who is emotionally transparent. 
The King of Cups is emotionally mature. They can be vulnerable. They can tell you how they feel. They can tell you what's going on in their life. And they want and crave that emotional intimacy that comes with a deep, loving relationship. The King of Cups is someone who does romantic gestures for you for no reason at all, just because they love you. Sending you flowers, bringing you little tokens of their affection, texting you messages of love throughout the day just because they love you. This King of Cups energy is a very powerful, loving energy, and the King of Cups wants a long-term partner. So as your person embodies more of this energy of the King of Cups, they will become more and more accountable and responsible in this relationship with you. They will put forth the energy and effort they need to, to reconcile with you to start rebuilding this relationship, to show you that they care, that they love you through their words and actions because kings take action. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What else do we need to know? This is the hermit. The hermit tells us that your person is in a place of isolation at the moment. And they are using this time for self-reflection, for self-examination, for the personal growth and healing that they need to be able to transform more so into the energy of this King of Cups. The Hermit tells us your person is looking within. They are examining their behaviors, why they screwed up, how they screwed up, how they need to fix that. And they are spending this time to gain a greater understanding of themselves so they can make sure in the future they don't screw things up between the two of you again. The hermit also belongs to the astrological sign of Virgo. So if you or your person have sun, moon, rising in Virgo, again, this can be a validation that there is a message in this reading for you. Let's see what else we get. What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? The Empress. Your person is so attracted to you. And it is beyond a physical attraction. It is the light that is within you that they find so attractive. That is what pulls them back to you. The Empress card is the card of the mother. So perhaps you and your person have talked in the past about having a family, combining your families as the case may be. Please only take that statement if it resonates for you and your situation. But this Empress card, your person sees you as someone who is so very powerful, a mover and a shaker, a leader, someone who gets things done. But the Empress as well is a card of sensuality. Your person does find that you are very sensual, very passionate. They enjoy this very much about you. But also it's a card of long-term partnership and commitment. So perhaps domestic partnership or marriage. This is what your person is thinking of at the moment. The Empress also represents the Divine Feminine. Your person also sees you as someone who's very loving, caring, compassionate, forgiving, understanding, and generous. And they want to be this way with you moving forward, especially as they are embodying more of the energy of this King of Cups, who sees long-term partnership potential in this connection with you. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune tells us that the story between you and your person is not finished. The wheel of fortune is the wheel of fate, the wheel of destiny. There is a destiny between you and your person that is yet to be fulfilled. You have unfinished business with each other. There is more to come. You have life lessons and experiences to have with one another while you are in this beautiful union with each other. Yes, you are having them at the moment in this place of separation for those of you who are apart from your person. Sometimes, many times, the spiritual growth that we go through has to occur while we are in that place of solitude. But there are also experiences that you need to have with each other when you are in union. Your story's not finished. 
there is still a greater destiny to unfold here between you and your person. The wheel of fortune is also the wheel of luck. This tells us that your luck in your connection with your person is about to change for the better. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What do we need to know? I wish we could go back. Well, this is not so much about going back, but going forward together. When you're both in a better place, when you have a higher vibration, as the two of you have been spending time apart, you have both grown and evolved. Your vibration has raised within each of you. You have both gone through spiritual awakening and growth. You have a greater sense of awareness within you. So when you come back to this place and you start rebuilding this connection with your person, you will both be in a more powerful place, in a more awakened place, to allow yourselves to be your authentic selves and build a stronger relationship moving forward. I am becoming a better person. Yes, your person is becoming a better person. They are spending time in self-reflection. They are examining their behaviors. They're taking accountability and responsibility for the things that they did wrong. But they're also taking on and embodying more of the energy of this King of Cups. Let's see. And your person wants to be a better person. They want to be a better partner for you. They want to be the one who is worthy of your love. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What else do we need to know? I know I messed everything up. Again, see, your person is becoming responsible. They are growing up. They're becoming emotionally mature. They're becoming more spiritually aware. They are changing and evolving and taking responsibility for their mistakes, for running, for ghosting, denying the connection, for abandoning this connection, for creating problems, for creating arguments, blaming you for things. Your person is taking responsibility. This is a sign that they are changing. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal for this reading today, please. I feel so happy with you, and your person does feel happy with you. This is why they're heartbroken and lonely at the moment, because they miss you. They miss this connection. They miss everything about you. This is why they're yearning for you. They're longing for you. They want to spend time with you, but they know the only way to attain that happiness again is to start talking to you and rebuilding this relationship. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today? What else do we need to know? I miss being with you. Again, they're longing for you. They are yearning for you. They are thinking about what steps they need to take, what they're going to say to you, what they can do to rebuild this connection. But again, this is a king energy here. That's not just about thinking about it and analyzing it and spending too much time in contemplation about it. Kings take action. So your person is going to take action on what they need to do to reach out, to communicate, and to start rebuilding this relationship with you. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? Empowerment. Very, very much the energy of this Empress card. Very much the energy of that Empress card. Your person sees you as someone who is empowered. But it also tells us that they are empowering themselves. They are growing, evolving, changing. They are finding the strength and the courage that they need to reach out to you, to start communicating with you, and to start rebuilding this relationship with you. They know they've got to do something. They know they have to find the courage, the strength, the power within them because they miss you. They long for you and they know the only way that they can get this back is by 
taking action, initiating communication, reaching out to you, taking steps that they need to take to come into reconciliation with you so the two of you can have this powerful relationship with with each other. This is a greater connection between the two of you moving forward because you have both changed and you have both grown spiritually and personally. There's greater emotional maturity and stability around each of you to allow this connection to be built on a stronger, more powerful foundation. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal for this reading. What else do we need to know? Guilty. Yeah, see, things were going so great and then I messed up. I miss being with you. I wish we could go back. I know I missed everything up. Your person knows that they created so many problems in this connection with you. And they are really taking on and feeling this guilt that is within them. It is causing them to examine their behaviors. They know that they didn't act in high vibration energies with you, but they will moving forward. This King of Cups is all about love, telling you how they feel, showing you through words and actions, expressing their love to you, wanting to present themselves to you as a stable, long-term romantic partner. In this time of reflection that comes with the hermit, your person is examining these behaviors and they do feel guilty. They feel remorse and regret and so ashamed of themselves for how they hurt you, the words they said to you, for creating so much conflict in this relationship with you. But they want to make it up to you. They will apologize and then they will start showing you through their actions that you can trust them, that you can depend on them, and that they are becoming a better person so they can be a better partner for you. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? Guidance. This connection with your person is being guided by the universe. Here, the universe is pulling me towards you. Your person is also listening to their inner guidance. And that inner guidance is guiding them to you and to this relationship. This hermit card, your person spending time in reflection, perhaps meditation, listening to their guides, listening to their angels, listening to what the universe is telling them. Perhaps it's through dreams. Your person is getting an understanding of this relationship and the person that they need to become. So the two of you have this chance to rebuild this relationship and create this powerful union for the two of you in the future. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, everyone.